Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you the amazing new features that Midjourney has just released for V6. You can now zoom out, pan, and in-paint your V6 images. When you upscale your V6 images, you'll notice several new buttons, which we'll explore in a minute. To get the most out of these features, you'll want to make sure that you have remix mode enabled in your settings. This will allow you to modify the prompt text as you pan or create variations of an image. And if you have existing images in your Midjourney gallery that you want to try these new features on, I'll show you how so you don't have to start from scratch. Okay, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and let's go through some examples and tips for using these new features. First, we'll start with zoom out. As the name suggests, zoom out allows you to zoom out on an image, thereby extending the content of an image beyond its original boundaries. This is really useful for going from close-up portraits to full body images, fixing cropping issues, or expanding a scene to get an establishing shot. You can even use it to place characters into different scenes. I have a video on that that I'll link. Here, I've upscaled a V6 image in Discord. To zoom out, we have several options. Zoom out 2x and 1.5x will zoom out the image by a factor of 2 or 1.5, respectively. And because my upscaled image has a non-square aspect ratio, there's also a make square button. So if you make a square image, you won't see this button. Make square will adjust the aspect ratio of the image to make it a square by either expanding it horizontally or vertically. The most powerful option is custom zoom. When you click custom zoom, you get an opportunity to change anything in your prompt, including the text, the dash dash parameters, and the custom zoom value. I really like using custom zoom to adjust the aspect ratio at the same time as zooming out. So let's say I have a nine by 16 image and I wanna change the aspect ratio to a wider three to two. I can either do this without zooming out by setting the zoom level to one, or I can set it all the way up to two, which is the maximum amount of zoom out. There's no limit to how many times you can zoom out, so you can indulge in as many consecutive zoom outs as you want. I made this zoom out video from 12 2x zoom outs, and just like in V5, there still seems to be a bit of vignetting after you zoom out several times. You can see the corners gradually get darker the more I zoom out. Adding a dash dash no parameter with words like vignette, black border, black corners to the end of your prompt can sometimes help, but it doesn't seem to be foolproof. Next, let's talk about pan. With pan, you can extend your image in specific directions by clicking one of the arrow buttons beneath your upscaled image. If you have remix mode enabled, you can change the prompt text as you pan. And similar to zoom out, you can add or modify some of the parameters like stylize and chaos. However, changes to aspect ratio will be ignored because panning inherently alters the aspect ratio. Panning in V6 works a little differently. Now you can change directions as many times as you want, create variations on your panned images, and panning in V6 no longer adds pixels to your images. You might wonder why you would use pan instead of zoom out. The difference is that zoom out keeps your subject in the center of your image, while pan lets you move it around because you're adding content in one specific direction at a time. Lastly, let's talk about very region. This is Midjourney's in-painting feature that allows you to modify specific parts of your image using a new or updated prompt. You can use Very Region on any upscaled image that you've made with Midjourney, even if it's an older one. For this first example, I'm actually gonna grab an image that I made a few days ago. So if you have an older image that you want to try these new features on and you don't wanna go hunting through Discord to find it, this is what you need to do. First, log into Midjourney's website, go to your gallery and locate the upscaled image that you want to use. Next, we need the job ID for this image. To get that, I'm gonna click these three dots, go to copy, and then click job ID. This copies the job ID to my clipboard. Then I can just go back to Discord and type slash show, a space, and then paste in the job ID. And now my image is back in Discord and ready to use. So let's use Very Region to give this dog a hat. Clicking the Very Region button opens a window where you can select the area that you want to modify by using either the rectangle or the lasso tool to make that selection. You don't need to be precise in your selection. It's actually better to select a larger area than a smaller one. If you're not getting the results that you want with Very Region, always try selecting a larger area. Next, I'll change the prompt text and click Submit. And here's the result. You can also use Very Region to remove objects. Here, my starting image was a regal beagle sitting on a tropical beach, bright daytime lighting. 
Then I selected the dog and changed the prompt to tropical beach. And I also added the dash dash no parameter with beagle and dog to the end of the prompt. Words following the dash dash no parameter will be down weighted in the results. You don't always have to do this, but I am finding myself using it a bit more in V6 compared to V5. And now we just have a tropical beach. You can add text to images by selecting the region and putting your text in quotes. If you want to add more than one text phrase, such as with conversation bubbles, you could do this in separate steps. Here I used very region to add text in the first bubble. From the results grid, I upscaled one of the images. Then I did very region again on that upscaled image and added the second line of text. Those are the latest features added to Midjourney V6. If you're wondering about a V6 style tuner, that is in the works and will be coming soon. In the meantime, I do have some free style codes that you can experiment with in V5. I'll leave a link for those in the description. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking, subscribing, all the things. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.